Hi, I'm Bob. My name is John Neves, and today we're going to be taking a look at the evolution of the HTPC. What are we talking about? We are talking about the Intel NUC. So, bear with us here. We know that the set top PC or set top box, or basically small form factor PCs, aren't new. Intel actually made a couple of these running on Atom on the Atom processor. The big issue there is that those Atom equipped processors or Atom equipped HTPCs simply lack enough power to actually be regarded as a regular desktop PC. With Intel's fifth generation processors, uh, basically Intel Core i3 and Core i5 and the previous fourth generation Celeron processors, it's now possible to have this small form factor basically act like a normal, typical uh, mid-range desktop. And that's what we're talk we're going to be taking a look at right now. Just basically just put in in so you know just how small these things are. This is basically the NUC system in a nutshell without the casing. So you can see just how small this is. This basically has a fan and the processor is already here. All that's lacking is a hard disk drive, casing, obviously as you can see, memory, and that's it. That's all that's missing. So as you see, there's like two versions of the NUC here. And right now we only have this one in the Philippines. This one has basically has a traditional uh, hard drive. This one has an SSD drive. That's the reason why it's thicker. This to basically just accommodate the thicker size of the normal hard drive. Modern living has basically necessitated us to have really small appliances. And because there's not really a lot of space in a, you know, a studio type apartment or a condo. This actually uh, reduces the footprint of your uh, PC to just it's really tiny. You can actually hang this on the back of this monitor so you don't see it anymore. You don't, you don't even need to use um, vessel palm mounts or whatever. You can just use a double-sided tape, just put it there on the back, you're good to go. Power is another thing. These things are rated, they come with a I think that's a 40 watt um, power supply. So you're not gonna be exceeding that because if you do, there's something wrong with your thing. Um, and under full load, we've seen, there's a power monitor here. Um, under full load, this thing is gonna run you around 37 watts, 38 watts, around that, around that wattage. And right now, um, with the monitor basically just running this, uh, you, we're seeing, uh, 17 watts, 16 watts. So that's it. So another um, usage scenario is if you actually own stores, if you are, if you have restaurants, if you have any kind of business that you want to put uh, digital, basically digital signage in, um, you can use this. This is actually both of these displays are basically just running off of a single thing, um, and it's awesome because it's just. Uh, 12 watts right now so you can run this all day you don't have to worry about um, you don't have to worry about your power bus uh, skyrocketing you can also if you do have the source for it um, the NUX can actually run 4k video um, we you probably just gonna be running on a single display and you probably don't want to do anything else aside from run 4k video if you're running the Celeron processor but again, it's just so tiny. The power consumption isn't that great. Like, I mean, when I say it's not that great, it's amazing because you're just running 13 watts on a single, on, on like these two monitors. So you're saving a lot of power. Another usage scenario is, um, again, HTPCs, as you can see. You can just plug in a, plug in a storage media external one terabyte hard drive on up there and you can use it as basically as a download station because everybody likes downloading uh, movies tv shows and whatnot on their hard drives uh, this basically does that except you don't get stuck with a very high power bill if you're using your uh, gtx 980 equipped sli desktop um, just for that because that's overkill. This is basically a much better option if you basically just like uh, downloading stuff off the net So that's one thing other uh, Usage scenario is you can probably just 
plug in or you can use this as a controller for CCTV cameras. Um, again, just it just doesn't, doesn't apply just for a business. You can have multiple CCTV cameras in your home, hopefully not in your bathroom, but everywhere else you can basically just take a look at what's happening inside your home and you know, you know, it, it's stored here because again, it has a hard drive, so you just everything is just there. Probably you are wondering where you can get this. Well, you can actually buy this, this one at PC Express. You can buy the standalone one, this one, just this, and just you have to worry about putting RAM, putting storage, whatever. And that kind of is not your thing. So you can actually get a package of these things, of this Cobalt. Uh, PC Express actually calls it the Cobalt line. Um, basically, it's this thing with a monitor. This uh, It starts at 19995 And that co actually comes with a 15-inch uh, monitor. This one. Uh, that's basically the version that you're getting with that is the Celeron powered version 4 gig, of, uh, 4 gig of RAM, 500 gig of storage, keyboard and a mouse So that's basically a desktop right there So if you want to step it up a notch, you can get the Cobalt Mainstream Which is around 28,995, 28, um, sorry So that's 28,995 Intel Core i3 processor um, 4 gig of RAM, 500 gig of storage 18.5 inch uh, display, keyboard and mouse. If you really have a lot of uh, cash, you can go for the highest package, it's uh, 39,995, and that's Cobalt Pro. That's uh, basically Intel Core i5 processor, uh, which is a step up obviously from the Core i3. Uh, 4 gig RAM, 5 gig of storage, 21.5 inch display, keyboard and mouse. And all of that, you can actually uh, you can actually customize. Say if you're running Cobalt Mainstream, you actually want 8 gig of RAM. As you can just you can talk about it there when you get there. You have an option to upgrade. Uh, you can have an option to basically upgrade this, the hard drive as well. But aside from that, again, is in a, this isn't a typical um, desktop, so you're basically limited to what you can upgrade and what you can change. So that's it for the NUC, the Intel NUC. Hopefully this actually helped you or you basically have a better understanding of what the NUC is. We're actually getting our review unit of the NUC and we will be telling you all about it, what we think of it and how it actually performs in real life. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and comment on below you can see, because this is on YouTube and you can also see that. So like, subscribe, comment. Um, if you have any questions about this, about the specs or anything else, anything about this video, please let us know right there on the comments. You can please visit our Facebook page at unbox, uh, Facebook slash unbox ph. Uh, follow us on Twitter at unbox ph. And also, obviously, go to our website unbox.ph. Thank you very much and see you soon.